Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're answering another question that's been asked by one of you guys, and it's actually a, a relatively common question. So, at various places around the ship, there are E's painted. Uh, for example, Mount 52, the forwardmost port side five inch gun behind me, has an E with some stripes painted on it in white. Turret 2 has a similar E on it for the 16 inch guns. And then on the bridge wings, there's all sorts of letters and colors and things. The aft funnel has a red E on it. So what in the heck do all of these E's mean? So before we get into this, remember if you make a donation to the channel, it helps getting your question answered quicker. So there's a link in the description below for you to make a donation. Feel free to ask all the questions you want in the comment section. We'll go through and cherry pick the best ones, but we do have a backlog of videos. So if you want to see your video get bumped up the uh, chain, a donation certainly helps with that. So the E's, uh, they're pretty similar to the ribbons people wear on uniforms. You know, Navy ships are pretty uniform. They're all painted the same basic color scheme and uh, yet they have their own names, their own crews, their own personality, and their crews take pride in their specific vessel. And this goes all the way back to early sailing days when sailing ships would race each other and conduct gunnery drills and whatnot to see whose ship was faster, whose crew was better attacking and wearing. Um, and, and so it continues into the modern Navy. By World War II, it was extremely common to paint your killboard on the side of the ship. So all your ships are camouflaged the same. And yet you see up on the uh, bridge where, th where the ribbon board is now, you see ships with all of their kills and whatnot. Outside of war, it's not too common to have those painted on. So post-World War II, uh, right around the same time that uh, ribbons start to be issued for sailors' uniforms, you see them also issued to commands. In this instance, the ship. And so by the 1950s, she has a ribbon board in peacetime, which is mounted on the bridge wings that shows the various combat actions and awards that the ship had. In addition to that, starting sometime later and more or less replacing the kill board, uh, you get what are called the battle ease or efficiencies. And there are a number of these that come in different colors. Not all of them are E's anymore, uh, but generally different departments on ships have logos or letters in a variety of colors that they paint on the side of the ship to show that they won an award. Of these awards, which have in recent years been changed to a Battle Effectiveness Award instead of a Battle Efficiency Award, uh, are awarded for a year's worth of outstanding work. Where typically one ship of each type is awarded an E for being the best at that thing over the course of the year. And oftentimes you'll see that even though the crew changes out every year or two, the same ship continues to win those awards. And that's what the hash marks are. You notice there's an E and three hash marks behind me. That is uh, four consecutive years of that particular gun winning this award. So each time you do, that gets added. Now, because there's a lot of transfer over in the crew, how does that one gun continue to get that award? Is it just better than the rest? No, there's a tradition among that gun crew that continues on. So when part of them are rotated out, and new guys come in, they are indoctrinated into that tradition of, hey, we're, we're this award winning gun. We're going to do our maintenance better. We're going to uh, do more drills outside of normal uh, shipboard drills so we can be the absolute best at it. And so you see even through subsequent crews over the course of four years when that gun crew has rotated out entirely from the first year, they continue to win it. So what do the various colors mean? Black E's are for fast warfare and defense. So that's basically your war fighting capabilities. Red E's are engineering and survivability. And that's what Battleship New Jersey was an expert in in her 1980s commission. She's got the red E painted on her funnel. 
for being the best uh, and primarily damage control is what this ship's crew really focused on, but it's for engineering in general. Uh, and of course, being the fastest battleship ever built, she's already got this tradition of engineering excellence and maintenance excellence that carries over from previous commissioned crews. We're always the first battleship brought back because we're always in the best material condition. Even though it's a different crew each generation, this tradition carries over. A green E is for command and control, so that's like bridge and communications type stuff. A blue E is for logistics management, that's your supplies. A yellow E is for safety. And a purple E is for efficiency. The current requirement is if you are able to win four of those six E's, which means if Battleship New Jersey is able to win four of the six among the four commissioned battleships, then she gets a white E, which means that she is the most efficient of all. That is the general overall award. And that award qualifies a sailor under that command to get an efficiency pin for their uniform in addition to their other ribbons. So those are the awards that go on the bridge wing or the funnel, depending on how much, you room, how much room you have there. And engineering is usually on the funnel. For the various gun turrets and other places that you see ease on this ship, I'm not entirely sure if that is a fleet-wide competition. This is the best five inch gun of all the five inch 38 guns in the fleet at this point, or of all the battleship secondary guns or if it's just, this is the best one on the ship, only one gun on the ship has it. Uh, I'm just not sure. And you don't tend to see ships nowadays with multiple guns. Uh, there are some that have two whole five inch or 155 millimeter guns, depending on the, uh, the class of ship. And uh, I don't think that they're giving out awards for a two horse race. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. This tradition has changed and morphed over time, and there isn't a great history of how exactly it has changed and morphed. You can find information on how it is done today, uh, but that's 30 years past the service life of these ships. An important thing to mention is if that gun loses its award for whatever reason, for example, in the fifth year they go up for that award and another uh, ship gets it, or another gun, depending on what the case is with that, uh, then they have to paint over that. They, they lose the whole thing. And the next time they win the award, they start out with an E and they have to build back up their uh, hash marks from scratch. Talking about the awards specifically on the five inch gun, if you are interested in firing this five inch gun for a donation of $500, we do allow that. And we're gonna restart our gun shoot program in April. You can also fire one of our two pounder saluting guns or 40 millimeter saluting guns for $50. So if you come out to visit the ship, uh, tends to be Saturdays starting in April, then, and you're interested in making a donation like that, we can schedule you for a gun shoot. There's a link in the description below to reach out if you have questions or you're interested in doing that. Of the six awards, which one do you think is most important? I tend to think that uh, a battleship, your whole purpose is survivability. So the fact that Battleship New Jersey is winning the uh, Damage Control and Engineering Award, she can get to the battle zone faster than any of her sister ships, and she can come back from damage faster than any of them. Uh, so that's where my vote tends to be. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. So if you would like to donate to support the Battleship, there are a number of ways to do that, including doing gun shoots. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.